Hello everyone. I want to talk just quickly on a little bit about like this kind of ride I'm doing today, which is you know granted a very long ride, six hours. Not a lot of you will do a ride that, that that's that long. But you know, regardless, if you're implementing you know certain things that are similar to this in your programs, you know, if you want to extend your riding time, you know, if you want to go longer, if you want to increase your volume. You know, the number one thing, and I think I'm going to preach this till the day I die, you know, I've grown up around it as well in, in cycling clubs, is that people will always ride too hard on these rides. Like, you know, obviously there's a multi multitude of things that kind of cause that, you know, whether or not they feel like they're pressured, you don't want to let a coach down, don't want to let Strava down, you know, don't want to you know, look like they're soft tapping or or anything really but yeah you know, i've got to be honest like you know the more experience i've got and the more i train the more i realize that you know these long rides you know they're not like very easy but they're kind of like well i'm i i'm in the kind of i'm in the team where i say look we're talking about marginals like your yeah, FTP changes every day and for me these rides are kind of about getting a connection with the bike and just riding and I set myself a ceiling I set myself a ceiling and that ceiling will usually be like my limit like I won't go any harder than that and I'll be disciplined to that you know it's 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 easy to say but it's flipping hard to implement you know it's it's not easy for me, well it's easier now, but it never used to be easy to like ride, you know, on my local routes, on the roads that I've always like trained on, you know, used to doing upwards of almost 30k an hour average speed, and now I'm doing like 24, you know, that's not easy, but it's, it's a necessary evil for when you're starting to do things like this I, I'm not saying you know there's an absolute range you have to stick to I mean I just usually say so long as you stick below kind of 65% of FTP and like I said you talk about marginals because your FTP can be you know percent either way or whatever every single day but I don't put any pressure on myself like at the end of the day, these sort of bike rides are the bike rides where you can almost just take your brain out and you don't have to do anything, you're just turning the pedals over you know, for me, my max heart rate is like 180 today I've averaged 119 like it's way down you know, and I've, yes I've had to dress I've had to overdress a little bit because of course I'm not creating the body heat I've had to bring more food you know, because the ride is longer but I'm just saying, you know, there's no hard and fast rules, but you know, most people will go too hard. Uh, and even if it's not hard, you know, overall, they'll throw in like a sprint or they'll throw in a, uh, you know, a, a climb that they've always gone up. And instead of going up it at eight kilometers an hour, which is what I've been doing all day today, they'll go up at a 20k an hour just to get over it and keep that average speed up but that leads me to something else and I don't I never try to be preachy I never try to be preachy I've just I, I gotta get what's in here out so what I'm saying is what I've kind of come across you know over the last you know when when we used to do rides with other people yeah, that used to be a thing. We used to do like, we used to do like quite lumpy rides. And today's ride is quite lumpy, especially the back half of it. But one of the biggest differences is actually the, y you see it more on the climbs. So you see it when people ride, you know, maybe between 65 and 75% of FTP on the climbs. And then when they come to a descent, they're doing like 40% of FTP. And although they'll come out of the ride with the same average, 
as you that has ridden you know kind of steady flat lined up the climb and down the other side which I'll tell you now for a fact if you try and implement this in other words try to ride slower on the climb but ride on the same intensity on the descent granted if the descent is dodgy don't try it you will be amazed at just how much you've been kind of coursed in or you know soft tapping through a ride soft tapping means you know you're just turning the turning the cranks over not really pushing down but this to a certain extent is where Zwift has really benefited a lot of people I say Zwift I mean indoor riding because you're able to actually pedal the whole time and you're able to regulate your effort and I know it has its downsides like you're always doing the same cadence or you know it, it creates other issues to a certain extent but what it does teach you to do is pace your effort and pace your ride uh, when you've jammed it in erg mode so anyway just wanted to air that <laughs>